All right, people, so today I'm gonna to show you how to make a couple different character eyes in Gravit. I'm gonna start with this kind of easy one right over here, which is basically made up of circles. So you hit the ellipse tool and then drag out an ellipse. You're gonna hold down shift to make it a, a perfect circle. And then we're just going to cut it in half with the knife tool right here. So you hit the knife tool and then you click and drag over your shape. You can hold down shift to make it a straight line. And you can see the line pops up there. And then you can just go to your selection tool and click away from the shape for a second and then click back on one of the shapes. And in this way you can edit um, either half. So this bottom half, I'm just gonna make it, you know, a little off white. And this top half, I'm gonna make it a skin color. Like that, looks pretty good. I'm going to kind of put them back together and duplicate this bottom half, make it black so we have an iris. So with the bottom half selected is Control C, Control V, and it's pasted right on top. I'm gonna to make that one black, and then I'm going to resize it. Um, this time I'm just going to resize it, again, with constraining the proportions and holding it um, to the center. I'm going to hold down Shift and Option, or Alt, and then you can make it a little bit smaller and bump it right into place. And now you have uh, eyelid, the whites of an eye, and the iris or pupil. You can, if you want, add um, you know a colored iris and then a dark pupil, or you can just uh, put on a white highlight. It's basically it. You can have fun with this and take it a few other directions. Like I added an extra little um, crescent up there, but I'm gonna move on and show you how to point the corners of an eye. So with the circle to tool, again, the ellipse tool, I'm just going to drag out a circle. And to get these anchor points to change and edit them uh, individually, you need to go over here to convert to path. So up top is this little line with the anchor points at the end of it, it says convert to path. Convert it to path, and then you can edit those anchor points with the sub select tool. So D is for sub select, and now you can see that um, you, the bounding box disappears and you can edit each one of these uh, anchor points individually. So I'm just gonna edit the, the joint over here in appearances. You can, I have these different options for joints. I'm just going to make it a straight point. So it comes to a, a point instead of a curve. I'm gonna do that with both. And then resize it a little bit. I'll just go back to the sub select tool or not the sub select, the pointer tool and squish it down a little bit. So now I have uh, basically the outline of an eye. I'm going to put a circle for an iris and a pupil in it. So I'm going to hit the circle for the ellipse button, drag out an ellipse and make it a pretty eye color like blue or purple, purple blue. All right, and then I'm going to make uh, an iris, or excuse me, that is the iris. I'm going to make a pupil. So I'm going to Command C, Command V, and change that top one to oops, change that top one to black. All right, now I'm going to resize this. Um, again, I'm just using the regular select tool or the what do they call it, the pointer tool, and I'm holding down Shift and Option or Alt, and dragging the corners in. That's it. So now I have the white part, the iris and the pupil, but the iris and the pupil aren't really fitting within the white part of the eye. So I'm just going to uh, select both the iris and the pupil and group them together by, um, we'll select both of them by holding down shift, click one and then click the other. And then you can group them by hitting this button over here or going command G is the keyboard shortcut for grouping. So now with this one grouped, uh, these two circles grouped, I'm going to clip them inside of the pointed oval that I made for the outline of the eye. I'm just gonna select everything, both those shapes. The top one is the one that's gonna get clipped into the bottom one. And there's this nice button, where is it? For clip, it's right here with this circle and rectangle. You get clip, and now the, um, the iris and the pupil, the two circles that we made are clipped within the outline of our pointed oval. Um, you can add extra lines if you want um, easily just by hitting the line tool and just drag out a line. And then with the sub select tool, just hit sub select, you can add an anchor point and then move that anchor point around. And again, the joints over here, uh, right now it's at a pointy joint, so you can just change to a mirrored point and move around just like that. You can change the border, the width, the color,